Interdependence of plants and animals. Interdependence of plants, humans and animals. Plants, humans and animals depend on each other for their survival. Animals and humans need food to eat and oxygen to breathe. Plants give them food to eat that is stored in plant parts as starch. Human beings and animals release carbon dioxide which is used by plants. All living things are also dependent on water, air, sunlight, etc. All the living beings that is plants, animals and human beings depend on each other for food. Most plants prepare or produce their own food. They are therefore called producers. All green plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight. The process is called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide which the human beings breathe out. Plants give out oxygen which human beings and animals breathe in. All other living beings do not prepare their own food and so, directly or indirectly, they depend on plants for their food. Therefore, the animals and human beings are called consumers. Food chain Plants are the ultimate source of food for all living things. Herbivores eat plants and carnivores eat the herbivores. This is called the food chain. Classification of animals on the basis interdependence. All animals and human beings have different food habits. Depending on the food habits, they are classified into different groups namely herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers and decomposers. Herbivores. Animals like goat, cow, sheep, deer, etc. feed on leaves, grass, or other parts of the plant. They directly depend on plants for their food. They are called herbivores or herbivorous animals. Herbivores are also called primary consumers. Carnivores Animals like tiger, lion, wolf, etc. eat the flesh of other animals. They are called carnivores or carnivorous animals. They depend indirectly on plants for their food. Carnivores that feed on herbivores are secondary consumers. They indirectly depend on plants. Omnivores Animals and human beings who depend on plants as well as animals for their food are called omnivores. For example, Human beings eat fruits, vegetables, eggs, meat, etc. Thus, they are omnivores. Dogs, cats, birds are the examples of some other omnivores. Scavengers Some animals and birds like vulture, hyena, etc. survive on the flesh of dead animals. These are called scavengers. Decomposers. Organisms such as fungi and bacteria are the decomposers. They break down dead bodies of plants and animals into simpler substances that go into the soil and water. These substances are nutrients for plants which absorb them through their roots. Flow of energy. Plants get energy from the sun. They use it during photosynthesis. This energy is stored in plants. Humans and animals get this energy when they eat the various parts of plants. Carnivores eat the herbivores to get energy. This is known as flow of energy. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living things. Balance in nature. Plants Humans and animals are interdependent on each other for various purposes. So, 
maintaining a balance between them is important if humans and animals become less in number plants may not be able to get enough carbon dioxide to prepare their food hunting of animals disturbs the balance in nature similarly if plants will be lesser in quantity humans and animals may not get enough food to eat and oxygen to breathe reckless cutting of trees and forest fires destroy trees and forests nature maintains the balance to allow life to continue on earth we must also help to maintain the balance between plants and animals by preventing deforestation and protecting animals know this mold is a type of fungi that can be found on old bread or other foods in order for mold to survive they like to grow in dark moist and warm places